an audience back here. <laughs> He's got a up on the Jeff Blood fly rod. Yep. Looks to be a big sucker. Yep. They think this is a sucker. Big old sucker. Wait till y'all see the size of these. That thing is hilarious. <laughs> yep. Good. Yep. It's so long, you feel like you have control. Yeah. Cute little guy. Look at that. He inhaled it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that jet got yesterday? Yeah, that thing was huge. That thing was a tank. Got the zonker. Link in the description. <laughs> Job, babe. They're powerful. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> what are you running? <laughs> All right. So we got the 10 foot three, eight weight Jeff Blood fly rod with a red ink and crosswater. And I'll show you my uh, setup. <laughs> got a bright pink indicator. So I've got two feet of a tapered leader, and that just helps me turn over my rig a little bit. And then about three or four feet of straight 15 pound to a barrel swivel three split shot and then my egg pattern below my egg pattern white death again link in description <laughs> How's the rod feel? It's so good. It makes the feel easier. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> All right, bring him right over to me. Oh, he didn't like that. <laughs> Got him. Looks like the white death. Fresh off the bite last night. Fly rod. Just caught my first fish on the fly rod. The new fly rod. He ate the zonker. Don't go. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Well, he swam away. <laughs> well, it happens. <laughs> yep, just caught a jack and yeah, it swam away. <laughs> oh well. We still got some video of it, so. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, who knows what this is? It's fighting hard.
Wow, that's a nice fish. Oh, wow. Even its head is thick. Thick girl. Yeah, that's right a good one. Snow. Nice fit. Nice. That. Wow, that's a nice fit. That's a good one. I like her colors too. Yeah, that was fun. Nice colors on her. Look at that. Good job. Oh my goodness. They pull. <laughs> Look this at that. Pull back. Yes. It's a strong rod. Suck it. <laughs> he doesn't like the net. Good fishy. Good fishy. <laughs> Took the white death. Oh, that's a thick fish. Thick sucker. Ooh. Man, they're fun on the fly right there. Yeah. So I was like, ugh. Yeah. Oh. Nick's hooked up to a steelhead. Not sure I got a great hook set on it. I kind of had to set the hook off the screen. Yeah. Looks like a pretty decent fish though. It's fighting. Oh. Oh my goodness. Looks like a fun fight. See him? <laughs> Pretty good size. I mean, look at that. Yeah, when you hook a fish like that, that's what we want an eight weight. Yep. This rod is just perfect for fighting this fish. Yeah, a lot of times when you're these fish get downstream of you and you're using a five weight, your rod will get bent out to the complete maximum it can bend, yeah. and then it's putting all the stress on your tippet. But with this eight weight, even when he's way down to me putting a lot of pressure on this rod, I can still give him some oomph and have that tippet protection that I need to get these fish in. So as you can see, working them right back upstream now. Yeah, with this rod, I feel like you can just pull them in almost, and they're strong fish. And I love, like I said, the way that you can just cast over like these riffles and exactly. get a slow drift on that side or on this side. Or you can work it in there and the slow won't mess up your drift too. Yeah, with that 10 foot 3 you really get a lot of reach. Yeah. And you can avoid having your line landing on multiple current seams, which is what creates drag on your yeah. drift. So. Yeah. And one of my issues is the drift, and with this rod, like, I feel like all of them are good, pretty much. And I'm still learning, so. That's a nice pitch. Look at the green on it. A nice fish. It's a nice fish. On the zonker. Come up real quick. Okay, okay. Oh. It's a nice fish. Yeah. 
decently fresh, um, little color. Looks like he's been up here for maybe a couple of days, but. Yep. yep, your dad's video too. Nice fish. Yeah. Nice little buck. On this fish. Oh. He's probably all ready to go. Yep. He's got a lot of energy. Oh. Sucker, but you never know until you get it up. Probably. Yeah, that's a sucker. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's one of those smaller ones. Yeah. Like the normal ones. <laughs> they fight like steelhead for some reason. They do fight them, Not this one, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the swing I was pulling my bobber up to cast again so my white death was coming up and came up and hit it got it right in its yeah, lips you know, the fly fish is mm -hmm. it's it's there you go buddy look at those lips nice thick sucker Probably too. Weird shape. Yeah, it's like a football box. Yeah. That thing is really cool. Cool. Mel's back into the action on the Jeff Blood fly rod.
On the Zonka. Oh, this thing is <laughs> fighting me even though it's not that big. Should I tighten the drag at all? Uh, I think you're good where you're at. Dude, this thing is strong. It is shaking its head so hard. <laughs> Yeah, close the gap on him a little bit. Pick his head up and drag him towards the net. <laughs> Look at those colors. Nice job, Mel. That's a Thank nice you. fish. That one fought, so I oh, oh, let it oh. go. That would be my second one lost. Come out of the water. Beautiful fish. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you fell in the water, not on a rock. Yep. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Nice little sucker. 